Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. PayPal Picks Edition. So, how was everybody's weekend out there? Was it great? Mine was fantastic. Got out there with a cold drink and uh, got out my... Uh, my uh, comfy outdoors chair and uh, watched uh, Hernandez and Melissa polish up the pearls of the uh, pearlocopter. Got that, especially those the uh, pro- what are the propellers? Is that what that's called? They the work that they put on that. Whew. Man, oh man, I had to have a nap. Had to have a nap after. It's invigorating watching them do that. It gets the whole heart rate going. But uh, we, we got her done. It's all that's all shined up and ready for your uh, to send out your pearls of wisdom necklaces. Uh, so you can, uh, if when you hit the subscribe button, you know, I don't know, maybe you haven't already. I don't know why you wouldn't have, but happens. There are people probably that aren't subscribed. So uh, give it give it a subscribe, and I will be giving you fine picks today, my friends. Uh, after a weekend of frolics, oh my gosh, we did well. We did well. We're up a fair amount over the weekend. We'll look at the weekend picks after I give you the picks for tomorrow. Funny thing, I uh, I had the wrong date on my last video. I had it on the, for the 25th when it was supposed to be the 24th because there was no picks for the 25th because, yeah, I don't do the picks on the weekends very often. If you'd like to get that, you can go over to our, my Patreon and app and go to the Patreon app, look up for BPAL picks or go in the link here and hit it. I'll give you a free month of picks. So um, it is the 25th today. I'm going to be doing picks for the 25th. 6th, which is tomorrow now, but maybe today by the time you watch this. Let's get at her, shall we? You see them in the background there. I'm going to go over and look at them now. Um, here we are. I, I see, let's see some of the comments in the comments before we go do that. Do I have that? Do I have that set up here? Yeah, I made it. Thanks for Saturday's picks. I'm here. Cool. Kenny R. Awesome. Thank you, Kenny R. Florida and Carolina game was amazing. Yes, it was. That was amazing. We bantered back and forth there, talking about how the Central is going to be amazing here. I asked him who he thought he was going to start in Florida, and he said Bob Roski. So this is a conversation we have down there. It's not just about picks. And then Brad Robson said Boston screwed his parlay. I have no doubt Boston will be slept in the playoffs. That's exactly how I feel when a team screws my parlay. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay can kiss my white ass. I can't stand you this year. They have screwed up, and we're going to talk. They screwed up our picks for the weekend, too, on the weekend. One of them, again. Why do I keep on going back to them? It's ridiculous. I keep on going back to them. Why? Because they're supposed to be better than they are. Every time I pick them, they freaking lose. Anyways, let's get to our picks for tomorrow. Oh, getting too excited. Getting a little, gotta have a little coffee. Mm-mm-mm. Yummy, yummy coffee. Okay. Mm, Flames versus Montreal versus Calgary. Um, Cal- Montreal, what is it? Montreal, oh, Tatar is out for Montreal now, too, on top of Gallagher. They're starting to pile up the injuries there in Montreal. Now, apparently, Allen will be back, and Calgary will roll with Markstrom again. That is what I'm more, con- I'm kind of, uh, what is it? Jonathan Drouin, Gallagher, it doesn't really mean illness, just an illness. He's had this illness for a long time. Could be back, I don't know. Maybe he's got a fatigue or something like that because he hasn't been playing very well. Uh, Anyways, 
Tatar is going to be out of the lineup there. This is NBC Sports Injury Report. It's the best there. I said it. Um, I go there all the time. So, anyways, I just, the energy of Montreal, I can't back them right now. I just can't. And uh, if you watch, they're showing a lot of Daryl Sutter right now as he does his Daryl Sutter thing, where he's very matter of fact. He brings things to the point uh, with the media, and he does this in the room too. You know, it's a very simple philosophy. He helps players not overthink things, keep it simple in your mind, and what you need to do. A lot of people have been calling because say, oh, you know, Daryl Sutter's this old school coach or whatever the case may be. Let me tell you, since analytics came in back when he was with LA, his teams had the best analytics in the league. So I don't know if he actually followed analytics, but his style of coaching produces amazing analytics. So we'll see what he does with Calgary. I'm going to keep backing him. I'm going Calgary on this one, and I'm going on the under. Um, I just think it's going to be a very tight game. Uh, this is a big game for both now. It's getting tighter and tighter. It's huge. If Calgary wins this game, they're right up on. Uh, they're right up on their tail, right? Let's go to it. How come I think Steve think? Okay, yeah. Yeah, they win this game. They're two points back. They're right in there. So, yeah, I would, uh, I'm definitely, I'm going to go with Montreal. I just like what Daryl Sutter is doing there. I like the flow of their team, and I don't like the flow of Montreal right now. Pretty simple. Sometimes it's not all X's and O's. Uh, Vancouver, Ottawa. I'm going back to Vancouver here. Um, I don't know what's going on with Murray. As it stands right now, Hogberg is going to be in net. Vancouver's going back to Demko, however, with the way Holtby is playing. I don't think I would just keep on rolling with them, but um, which is weird. I never thought I'd say that, but they are. And uh, they're playing very well. And I believe Vancouver's getting a few more players back. After COVID, if I remember reading this now, yeah, um, possibly even Pedersen. Oh, you know, he probably won't come back to the end of the season. Um, yeah, they got a few players coming back. Um, I like their, I like the flow. I like the way and they're both of them are traveling to from Vancouver to Ottawa for this. Uh, they just played in Vancouver and they're going to Ottawa. Actually, this makes the road team more of a favorite. Why, you ask? Because Ottawa has to go home and take care of home stuff. Vancouver just has to go on the flight. They both got to fly a long ways. From Vancouver to Ottawa is a long flight over three time zones. They're both going to be tired, which is why I'm back back in the under here, even though Hogberg is in net. Um, and auto for Ottawa players, they got to go home and there's home stuff to do, right? They've been on the road for a while. They got family. It generally, you know, it's just human nature to stay up a little later than you should, you know, catch up with your kids, all of that kind of stuff like that. It just changes the whole flow. So I'm going to go with Vancouver. Money line and uh, under six. I believe the six, the total is six here. Yeah, going under six. Colorado, St. Louis. I'm, I can't go. St. Louis did wonderful to be able to beat Colorado last game with Dubnik in net. Apparently, Grubauer is coming back, though. Uh, if Grubauer is coming back in net for Colorado, I got to take Colorado. I can't back St. Louis two games in a row against Colorado, even on the road. This doesn't make sense to me, so I'm going Colorado. But I am going to go money line. This is a big game for St. Louis. I'm sure they're going to give everything they got. I don't think it's going to be a walk. 
It's only, it's, uh, what's there? You can get juice at 165 at Caesar's Palace. Bodog tends to give good favorite juice more than anybody else. And Pinnacle. If you go to, you can get all these bookies. Go, I would get all these bookies if you can get them. 167 at Sports, uh, Sports I Bet. That's the best you can find out there. So go check it out. Um, as far as the over-under, I'm going to go over. There's just too many shooters on both teams. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go over six. I'm not heavy on it, though. Carolina-Dallas. I got to go Carolina here. They, they lost a tough one against Florida. I think they finally figured out that Nedeljkovic is their goaltender now. If it's Mrazic, I may change here. Um, but Carolina with the strong goaltender is going to win most of the time, on the road or not. And uh, Dallas needs this win. Yes, no doubt about it. I think they'll give it a good go. But I think Dallas is just too strong. Or Carolina is, is just too strong overall. Um, plus you're getting 183 for Carolina. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Ju uh, you know, you're not giving up much juice for that for sure. And total. Yeah. Um, with Nedeljkovic and net, I'll go to the under here. Not huge on it though. Um, Nashville, Florida. I am going to go Nashville. Florida just got over a huge emotional game, two emotional games against Carolina. Um, as of right now, they're putting Bobrovsky in net, and I am not going to back Bobrovsky against a lot of teams. I, I'm just not a supporter of them. I need to see more than what I've seen to support uh, them right now. Plus, there was... A weekly situation going here. Uh, what the? Yeah, they've had two days off. Nashville's had two days off, and Florida just came off. Yeah, they're look at that. They're playing five games in eight nights. Yeah, I think that's a great spot for uh, great spot for Nashville. There, I'm taking Nashville ML. And the under, I do believe you're getting, you can get six right now. Total. Yeah, you can get six at Bodog and Bet Online. Get on it quick because they'll all be going to five and a half. So I'm almost assuredly. Uh, Edmonton versus Winnipeg. Um, the Jets are not doing well lately. I'm really, I'm going back to them again here. On paper with their depth and Hollabuck and Net, they should crush this game they really should they're at home um, they've been home for a little bit now I think this is Edmonton's first game back on the road again which is okay actually it's a more of an advantage to the road team there generally teams are very focused going into their first game on a row on the road um, they haven't had many distractions as going like second or third games on the road, teams tend to go out more. They do more things on the road and stuff like that. With COVID, it changes things a little bit. But the first game on the road is usually the toughest one. Um, I just don't like Edmonton's overall depth still to this. I just don't. And they're inconsistent. Winnipeg comes back, starts turning it around here. I think I, I'm going to take Winnipeg. More of a gut than anything. Yeah. So Winnipeg and am I going over? Winnipeg and I'm not big on the total. So over six. Anaheim versus Los Angeles. I like Los Angeles. Anaheim is really just messed up right now it's it's all it's really sad to watch and now gets is injured as well they don't have much offensive depth they just look totally done they look done 
Los Angeles will probably have Peterson here. They have a glimmer of hope too. And they've actually been playing well even when they've been losing. So I'm going to take Los Angeles on the money line, which is 167 if you go to West Westgate, Las Vegas. Can you get, I doubt you can get better than that. No, 167 at Sports I bet too. Uh, and I'll back the under here. I just don't think Anaheim's going to score enough on Peterson. Los Angeles, not a huge scoring team as it is. Arizona versus San Jose. I'm taking Arizona money line. Um, especially at 191. Oh my gosh. 195. They're getting even money. Why? I don't even have to look at anything. Darcy Kemper. This San Jose looks like the worst team in the league right now. Maybe Anaheim. They look terrible. And they look like they mailed it in a long time ago. Arizona is a hardworking team. San Jose loses to hardworking teams all the time because they rely on skill. Uh, Arizona is definitely, I, I can't see Arizona not winning this game. I'm going over five and a half too. Uh, Jones has looked terrible. San Jose has got enough offense to pot one or two. Yeah, I'm going slightly over five and a half. Okay, uh, anyone who, that's your picks right there. So if you if that's all you want is the picks, just head off. But I'm going to quickly look over um, our games from the weekend. I'll just skim over them real quick just to see how we did. So you can see that we're doing really well. Uh, and it's really worth it to go over to, to, uh, to uh, the Patreon that I have. It's a free month. Give it a shot. Okay, let's go to Saturday. We'll go over real quick. We had the Penguins. We had the over. Didn't hit the over, but we had Penguins huge. Uh, Avalanche versus Blues. We did not get this one. We had the medium pearls and the under. We didn't get it. Uh, Flames versus Canadians. I don't know what I was thinking. I was Canadians and the under. So we were down so far. Also had the Jets and the over. Those are the ones that really screwed us up. Uh, sorry, no, Capitals and Islanders, that screwed us up too. We lost four in a row, totals and everything. But I did not have much on this one. I didn't have much on this one. Um, I, I, I didn't have much on these games that I missed. The big ones we had, we hit, especially this one. We had the tie on the Hurricanes and Panthers. We had a little bit on the Panthers and a little bit on the under which lost us a little bit, but we hit the tie. That was nice. We had a medium on medium pearls on the stars, large on the under. We had uh, large on the over, large on the PL Golden Knights um, puck line. Big here. Big, big, big. This was our, no, this was not our pick of the night. Large on the Sharks, large on, or large on the Wild, no, sorry, medium on the Wild, and one pearl on the over. Canucks versus Senators, we had a small play on Senators PL, we didn't get it, and the total was a wash. This was the one that really did us in good. We did really well here. Coyotes for huge. I love the Coyotes here. Loved it, loved it, loved it. And we had the under. We're up for Saturday. Uh, not significantly, but up. And that's the main thing. Uh, we had big on the under. We had a little bit on the Bruins, but big on the under on this one. Uh, Devils, Flyers. We had the Flyers for large. And did we have the over? Yeah, we had and the over for small. But the big one was the Flyers for large. Um, I, Rangers, this was our play of the day. So we had five five big ones on the Rangers and over as well. We had over as well. So that was good. And like I said, the Lightning screwed us up because we had the Lightning in rank. And we had the under because I thought Vasilevsky would stop pucks against Blue, the Blue Jackets. 
but apparently not. But it didn't matter because we were up for the day. I think over the weekend we were up five pearls, something like that. Um, up again, up, 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 always up. Go to Patreon, like to have fun. Pick all my picks. You'll be up for sure over time. Over time, you will be up, and then you can play around with your up money. Do whatever you want. You want to have fun and go for dogs or whatever you want to do. I do. I have a algorithm that I work with. I pick all the games over and under. I use the over and unders to to uh, hedge my bets to make sure that I'm going to be oh I'm going to be up money for a week, especially over a month. Over the season here, it looks like we'll be up about 30, 40 units. Not too bad, right? For some fun, watching hockey, putting bets in, making three, four hundred bucks if you bet like that, three thousand, four thousand. Good times, man. Anyways, um, that's our full forty-two, I guess. I'm gonna have to send you off. We'll be here tomorrow. Going to go do my show tomorrow from three to five on this channel. Uh, come check it out. I would love to have you there. We do picks and there's prizes and we talk everything hockey, everything. Everything you could think about hockey, we discuss. Love to see you there. Have a great day, everybody. Have a good start to your week. You're amazing. Okay, bye.